All right, Shalom, Shalom, Makim. All right, before we get started, we'd like to give all praises, all honor, and all glory into the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Kakadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders, a great Muslim who rule well and tell us the truth according to the Bible. And Shalom to all the brothers out there throughout the four corners of the earth, pushing this word in our righteousness and sincerity. Shalom, Brother Kazapa. Shamar War. And we'll just come back with another uh, quick lesson, man. Uh, you know, like a GMS newspaper going to what's going on currently um, in the news right now, okay, and tying it in back with prophecy, man, okay? You know, and um, one of the things that's going on right now is that, uh, you know, the the man that you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are paying your trust in, okay, Joe Biden, okay, well, cause brothers actually looked up his last name to Bide, you know, or Bide, that means he, to have someone put their trust in you. So his name is like a, a omen, no omen anyway. All right, so you put your trust in this devil, um, uh, Joe Biden, okay? And his advisors are advising him to do another hardcore lockdown, man, okay? You know? And this lockdown can and can cause many things, man, okay? You know? And stuff. And we're going to get it in the scriptures today, man, okay? So that uh, we'll get that article, bro, and then we'll get the scriptures, bro. All right. This is uh, <clears throat> CNBC News. It is Biden's COVID advisor says U.S. lockdown of four to six weeks could control pandemic and revive economy. It said could control pandemic, which, you know, there's a pandemic, man. They claim that, you know, numbers are surging. But then again, they said their hospitals are being overwhelmed. How are you counting all these people if you don't have capacity for hospitals? So if a brother believe it's that contract tracing on your phones, man, that's really uh, so-called surging numbers and stuff. But, you know, that's he neither here or there, man. All right. That's what they plan to do, man. Do another hardcore lockdown, man. OK, for another four to six weeks. OK, you know, uh, the key points of this article is Dr. Michael Osterholm, a covid virus advisor for the president elect Joe Biden says a nationwide lockdown would help bring the virus under control in the U.S. Mm -hmm. and, which, you know, that's that's what they believe. So, you know, they believe these things. They're going to put it into, a, a, you know, implementing, man. All right. And it's like there's a lot of things going on like that coincide with this. What? Because when a hard core lockdown hits again, these people are tired of a lockdown. OK, so the people get mad. The people might riot and loot. Look at Florida. The Florida uh, 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 governor just uh, was about to just passed the law that what anybody that sees somebody rioting or looting, you could shoot them one spot and stuff. So like all these things are correlating. And scriptures talk about how what there's gonna be sedition among men, no pity upon his neighbor. All these things are gonna be happening in these times, man. You know, and this is the time that we're living in right now, man. Okay. The second key point is, he said the government could borrow enough money to pay for a package that will cover lost income for individuals and government during and governments during a shutdown and during a shutdown so they're going to completely shut down the government man you know completely shut down this whole place man you're not going to be able to leave your houses or nothing this is going to be a hardcore lockdown okay all right you can't leave your crib type type things man and these people are going to go crazy man all right cuz they already been going through a whole year of this so how much more when they fully lock it down again like they did in, um, you know, early February, man, okay, late uh, January, okay, you know, it's about to get crazy, man, this devil is about to come down with full force, matter of fact, we'll get Revelation 12 and 12, bro, that's the scripture, yeah, that's the scripture we're going to start off with, you know, because this devil is going to come down full wrath, you put, the, you put your trust in this devil, all right, put your trust in Egypt, you know, aka America, you got to say, whoa, so this is going to be your death and destruction for doing so, man, okay. This is Revelation chapter 12, verse 12. Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell therein. Mm -hmm. Woe unto the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. Which means death and destruction unto those that live on this planet earth. Keep on reading. For the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath. The devil mean deceiver, okay? Who has deceived the world, you know? Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, okay? So this devil will come down with great wrath. All right, why, bro? Because he knoweth that he have but a short time. He has a short time to rule. So these elites, they know they have a short time to rule, so they're making calls, making plays behind the scene. When you were celebrating uh, uh, the so-called uh, president-elect Joe Biden winning the election, 
okay? You know, so to speak. You know, they were putting in these laws, you know, for what? Uh, things to be mandatory. You got uh, uh, um, New York having a mandatory vaccine when it becomes available. To all New Yorkers will have to be, um, um, you know, mandate, mandate to take the vaccine. That's coming down with great wrath, man. Coming down with force, okay? You know, this devil is uh, uh, about to start forcing people to do things, man. By law, by constituting it, man. Okay, you know, and this is all prelude to how they're gonna do the market of beast, man. Okay, you know. All right, this is the uh, third key point, which is the last key point of the article. It says we could really watch ourselves cruising into the vaccine availability in the first and second quarter of next year, while bringing back the economy long before that. Yeah, that's like what we was talking about earlier, bro. When it said in April or June, that's mm-hmm. what they're looking for the vaccine to come in. So within that, there's like a three month period to where they could possibly lock down this place, America, completely, man. Okay, you know where all chaos can really um break, and and a lot of things is gonna happen, man. You know, you know, in that time, and we're living in these times, man. Right now, man. Okay, we are living in these times as we speak. Okay, um, could you get the uh, um. What's it called? Uh, it literally just left my mind. Um, and, and instead, uh, we'll get Second Ezra. You know the um, fifteen chapter. You know verse fourteen. Okay. You know because we're living in times when that shutdown happens. These people will be fed up. They're gonna go out to the streets. They're gonna rise against the government. This is the time that we're living in right now, man. Okay. All right, everything is being shown that is being made manifest that the words of Yahweh by Shemuel Shah are faithful and true, man. Okay. Matter of fact, we'll start at uh, verse 1 and 2, bro. Uh, we'll slack it. Verse 1 through 4. And then we'll drop down to verse 14. All right. The second Edges chapter 15, verse 1. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people mm-hmm. the words of prophecy. My people is talking about you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You are the Israelites. You are the, the people, the chosen people of the Lord. Who you and you call God in Jesus Christ, Yahweh by Shai. All right. The Lord is speaking to you through his prophets, saying, What, bro? Which I will put in thy mouth, save Yahweh by Shai. Which he will put in our mouth, save the Lord. So this is what? The words that we're speaking are the words of the Heavenly Father, there was only begotten Son, Yahweh by Shai. All right. The creators of everything that you see, the whole universe, man. We're speaking their words to tell you the words of the future, man. Prophecy, man. Okay. You know? And cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Cause them to be written in paper, because they are faithful and true. So everything written in, the, in these scriptures is showing forth that what is true, because it's happening on the planet Earth right now, man. Okay, you know, you know these vaccines, the mandate, the the crackdown in government, man. Okay, you know, Joe, uh, what's it called Joe, uh, Joe K, uh, how you say that, uh, Draco, uh. Draconian, there we yeah. go, Draconian measures and stuff. It was on the tip of my tongue, how to finally say it, you know, through the spirit. You know, um, you know, joke, joke, damn, I can't even Draconian. say it. Draconian measures about to be uh, uh, taken at an all-time high measure, man. And you, whether it be, you know, uh, Biden in office or Trump, it don't matter, man. Who, Something's going to happen, man, okay? You know, can we read them, bro? Verse 3, fear not the imaginations against thee. Mm-hmm. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. That's right. That speak against us. The, the what? The incredulity, the non-belief. Okay? Don't let that non-belief trouble you, man. Because we know, according to the scriptures, all these things are happening. All right? They're speaking. We, we see them. All right? They're making themselves manifest because they are spoken from the beginning. Okay? That's the second Ezra 9 chapter. You can read that, man. Okay? You know? All these things are made from the, uh, were said from the beginning, man. Okay? And they're being made manifest, being made known. Okay? It says, For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. So all the unfaithful are going to die in their unfaithfulness. So you don't believe in these scriptures, what they're saying? All right? Because everything in, in the news is linking up with prophecy. But you, if you don't want to believe in what the Lord is telling you, then death and destruction unto you, man. All right? That's exactly what you deserve, man. Death and destruction, man. Because the Lord is warning you of these things, but you don't want to get yourself right with the God of the Bible, man. So you deserve... To be destroyed when these things come. When martial law hits the streets, all right. When people start uprising because they can't leave the house, man, all right. And the 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 police um, turn into uh, the national guard, which turns into what the UN troops and the 
all these Gurkha troops coming down, they start blasting you away. You can't say that you didn't hear these words, man. Okay, these words of Yahweh Hashem Yahshai are not going out void, man. All right, keep on reading, bro. I'll jump out of verse yeah. fourteen. Second Edges fifteen and fourteen. It says, Woe unto the world and them that dwell therein. It said, Woe unto the world and them that dwell therein. This is what death and destruction is coming to this place in America. And throughout the four corners of the earth, but this is going to be the worst here in America on the planet, man. All right, keep on reading. For the sword and their destruction draw nigh. For the sword and their destruction draw nigh. A sword is what? An instrument of war. We know that race riots are coming, race wars, class wars, you know. You know, all these things are coming, man. Okay, you know. And it says, and one people shall stand up to fight against another mm -hmm. and swords in their hands. That's right, man. It's about to be a very, very bloody bloodshed time, man, that we're about to uh, witness, man. All right. And we're in the upcoming days. We're not saying years no more, man, because it's days. It's a days away, man. Okay. And if we could just feel it in the spirit, man, the Lord's prophecies are being fulfilled, man. Okay. You know, so you better get right with the God of the Bible before it's too late, man, because when the Lord has everything shut down, you know. That door of mercy is going to be closed, man. And it's going to be, uh, uh, for lack of better words, your ass, man. Okay? You know? For there should be sedition among men and invading one another. Sedition among men. All right? Uprising against the government. Okay? And invading one another. People are going to be doing home invasions. I don't got no food in my crib. I know Timmy over down the street got food. I'm about to go take his food. You know, then I'm going to hit a lick over here. I'm going to hit a lick over there. People are about to have that... Um, dog eat dog uh, mind frame in these last days, man. Okay, you know this is the time that we're living in. Keep on reading, bro. <clears throat> they shall not regard their kings nor princes. The powers of authority, your governors, your uh, your mayors, your general attorneys, your your chief police. They're not going to regard none of what they got to say, man. A man's going to do what he wants to do in that day, man. Scripture's about to say it. Keep on reading, bro. In the course of their actions shall stand in their power. A course of their actions shall stand in their power. So whatever man desires to do, he's going to be able to do it without any consequence. Nobody's going to be able to stop him. Whatever comes to his wicked mind, he's going to be able to perform it that day, man. Okay? This is the time that we're coming into. It's about to be a very horrible time for you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that don't want to get right with the God of the Bible. Okay? You know? You don't want to come back to your heritage of you being an Israelite, man. You still want to be a nigga. You still want to be a thug. You still want to be a thought, a whore. All right? Still want to be a baby mama. You know, all these things, a pimp, whatever, man. Okay? You want to, be, want to be a stripper. All these things. You want to be those, have those aspirations. Okay? All right? Or whatever black culture promotes. Instead of coming back to your howl by Shemal Shah, you got to suffer these things, man. Okay? Keep me reading, bro. A man should desire to go into a city. Uh, them lockdowns. Remember, if you're in a lockdown, you can't go nowhere. You know, it's going to be to the point where they're going to lock down cities. So you can't even go to, from city to city, county to county. Okay? You know? And shall not be able. Mm -hmm. And not be able. So you're going to be wanting to travel, but you're not going to be able. But that New York City or New York State mandate, guess what? If you don't have that uh, uh, that uh, uh, that uh, vaccine... You won't be able to travel. You might lose your job. You know, there's a lot of things that come with that. Okay? You know? These are the times that we're living in. All right? Keep reading, bro. For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled. Because of the pride of the people in the cities, these cities are going to be troubled, man. Okay? All right? Because the city doesn't have pride. It's the people that's the city, man. All right? The people are very prideful. You know, remember, things got to hit an all-time high before the Lord brings them down. Okay? You know, and pride go for destruction. So what? These cities are going to be troubled in their pride. All right. And that's what the Lord's going to bring them down, man. All right. Keep on reading. The houses shall be destroyed mm -hmm. and men shall be afraid. And men should be afraid. This is about the time that we're coming into, man, where man is not going to be able to sleep comfortably at night, man. Okay. It's going to be a very uh, uh, dark and gloomy time for you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that don't want to get right with the God of the Bible. But for the elect of the nation of Israel, you know. Lord, will we be a part of that number? You know, the elect, they're going to be straight. Okay, the Lord, even though they're going to be, have to go through the same things that most of the people go through, the Lord is going to comfort them and protect them in these times, man. Okay, you know, keep on reading. He says, a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor mm -hmm. and shall destroy their house with the sword. Now, that's the time. It's going to be a doggy dog world, every man for himself. You know, even down to the family structure, every man for himself, man. Okay. Destroying, uh, 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 just you know, going, running through people, man. Just, uh, just because you don't have no bread or lack of food, man. 
you know, or or just for all the tribulation you're catching in your own house, man. Brothers is witnessing on news where family members is killing family members. You just had a woman that killed both of her children, all right, because their organs were worth money. That's going to be coming out at all-time high here in America, man. That's going to be the new normal, okay? People killing their family members, man, to get money, okay? It says, and spoil their goods mm -hmm. because of the lack of bread. Lack of bread, a famine in the land, okay? Keep reading. And for great tribulation. And for great tribulation, man. Hard times, man. This is the time that we're living in right now, man. So this is why we tell you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans to get right with the God of the Bible or you will suffer death and destruction, man. All right, can you quickly get Psalms 37 and uh, 34 and 7, yeah. you know? Because what? Within all that, the elect are going to be protected, man, okay? Because why? They fear you, how about you, how shy, and they're getting themselves right with the God of the Bible, man, okay? So guess what? The angels are going to protect them through all this madness, man. And Lord's will we be a part of the elect. The Lord is going to protect us, man, through all this madness, man. Okay? Yeah. You got that, bro? Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. You know, because we're going to need protection, bro. We're going to be need protection, Akiem, and a few sisters, man. We're going to need protection, you know? And for you sisters, hey, that, that man, Lord, he's your protection. You know, for the brothers, man, your protection is your howl by shim yahweh shai, man. All right? This is Psalms 34 and 7. The angel of your howl by shim yahweh shai. And camp of round about them that fear him. Uh huh. It said camp it means to surround. Okay, the angels surround those that fear the God of the Bible, which is the elect of the nation of Israel. The Lord's will be a part of that number. Okay, it says in what, bro? And delivereth them. And delivereth them out of what? Death and destruction, man. You know, so all the death and destruction that's gonna come, the angels are gonna camp around the elect of the nation of Israel, man. Okay, you know, the Lord is gonna protect that man. <laughs> Okay, you know, but guess what? The those that don't want to hearken unto his words, all right, is gonna be left out and uh, uh for for the birds, man, for the for the wolves, man. Okay, you get Psalms one and one, no fast, mm -hmm. all right, because those that are the elect of the nation of Israel are not uh doing the same thing that these people are doing out here, man. These people are you know voted for Joe Biden. They put their trust in the society, man. All right. But the Lord said, blessed is those that are not doing the same thing as the ungodly, the, the wicked of our people, man. Okay? The two-thirds. Okay? In Psalms 1 and 1. Mm -hmm. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. It said, blessed is the man, all right, that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, the advice of this world. You're blessed. You're highly favored, all right, in the eyes of the heavenly father that was only begotten son. That's very important if you're favored, man. Because that means what? You're pitting, you're put over someone else. Okay, if you're favored, man. All right? Lord's will be a part of the elect that we're favored. We're put over the two thirds, man. Because the elect will be put over, uh, 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 favored over the two thirds, man. Okay? It says, Nor sitteth in the seat, it's like it, nor standeth in the way of sinners. Mm hmm. Constantly going off. You know, con but constantly disrespecting and disobeying your how about Shemel Shai, not doing what you were told to do. Okay, being disobedient children, man, not coming back to your how about Shemel Shai, man. Okay, keep on reading. Nor sit in the seat of the scornful. Neither sit in the seat of the scornful, you know, because you have people scoffing. Okay, but you're not doing those things, you're taking heed. So blessed are you. Okay, keep on reading, bro. Read verse 2. Mm -hmm. Verse 2. But his delight is in the law. Of Yahweh Yahushua. His delight is in these scriptures, because the whole book is a law. Okay, his delight, his his pleasure is in the scriptures of Yahweh Yahushua, the Bible. All right, keep on reading. And in his and in the so like and in his law doth he meditate day and night. He's constantly thinking about Yahweh Yahushua and this word, man. Okay, his meditation, his deep thought is in the word, man. Okay, you know. Blessed is that man, all right? And th that's what we're going to need to have. We're going to need to be blessed, favored in these times, man, okay? And that we're living in, man. Okay, when all hell breaks loose, you're going to need the favor of the Lord <laughs> to be on your side, man, okay? You know, because death and destruction is coming. So hopefully this was, you know, um, edifying to the elect, give a little hopeful uh, exhortation to continue to fear the God of the Bible and do what and what is pleasing unto him so you'll be um, blessed in these last days. But, you know, hey... Jake is about to really get it, man. Okay, you know these are about to be hard times. That's the that's about to come up, man. Now people are really gonna suffer. So with that, 
You know, we'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Kakudash. Double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well and taught us his truth according to the Bible. A shallow on to all the brothers out there throughout the full cleanse of earth, pushing this word and our righteousness and sincerity to the elect. We say shallow on. Shallow on.